that's the whole point of um, Pirates of the Caribbean and you know our Keith fucking Marianne Faithful was that basically um, he fucked her that hard that um, she was crying all night because it basically looked like really horrific scene of rape everything under the sun um, that the next time she saw Mick she just had these eyes that looked like they'd been crying all night and she was really happy to show him it and that just ruined him he just was not the same it was like a whole different it was like the turn of Mick and Mick's just been a shadow of his former self ever since ever since that so he just one fuck up he fucked with Marianne and he fucked with his mate. He fucked with his only mate that agreed with him. You know, they met on a train. They both brought this same album. I can't remember. I'd love to say it's Muddy Waters. They both brought the same Muddy Waters album. It's something like that. They both brought the same one. It's similar to like uh, all the Ramones members were all fans of the Velvet Underground and nobody else was in their school. That's how they made the Ramones. Um, there's brilliant little things like that in rock. And the way Mick met Keith was that they both had the same fucking vinyl. It was something in common and it just grew from there. And he fucked with him. You watch him in interviews. And Keith's the one who's come up with the idea. Keith can tell you exactly where he got it from. He will go into that detail. And Mick's there just like... And he'll occasionally add this. And because it's so careless, the way he, he's just smiling at the cat, it's just really obvious that all he's doing, because he's a spastic, is that he's smiling at the fuck. I almost spat on my shoe then. And he's, fucking, that's how much of a spastic he is. He makes you act like a spastic because he's that spasticated. Um... And um, he smiles at the camera. And then, oh, uh, yeah, that's how we did it. And to make Keith look like a retard or something. Like, Keith's got mental issues as he's stumbling through his points because he's old and senile. And, he, you know, you've got to get him on the right points. We, Keith's the captain of the ship, you kike. He knows exactly how to steer it. <laughs> that's the whole point. Nobody steers it better. Nobody came up with the Rolling Stones more than Keith. Keith can tell you exactly which song he got it from on what album. Mick's there, just go, oh, yeah. Well, go on then, Mick. Tell us how you got the name of the Rolling Stones then. Fucking give us the detail which Keith gave us then, you fucking cunt. Tell us how you spread yourself out so thinly that girls just thought it was great. Oh, you know, yeah, that smile and maybe the cool action. And it was like, it, but he's got a tiny willy and he's not very good in bed. That's like the big joke of Mick Jagger. That's why he spreads himself out so thinly because, you know, he doesn't like too many girlfriends on him having that being said. <laughs> he moves on <laughs> very quickly. He didn't grow that todger of his um, into loving Marianne rightly. That Keith had to do it for him and it made her love it that much that she just moved in with her mother and never fucked him again. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey matey. <laughs> Mickey D. What's gonna Mick demonstrate now, eh? <laughs>